Hey y'all, ready for another uh, good fun time? So today we are making several things on the, sorry my nose itches, golly. I guess I ought to have my mask on in case you people get afraid for that, but I'm not gonna do it. So what we're gonna do today is pork chops on the smoker. We got some nice thick pork chops. And along with that, we're gonna have some wonderful black beans that are gonna be seasoned up. And uh, this beautiful young lady right here is gonna be taking care of them. She's also taking care of some corn. So what we're doing is she's pulling all that uh, husk back and everything right now and pulling out as much of that silt as she possibly can. Then we're gonna soak those things in water and uh, then pull that, all that husk back right up over. And we're gonna stick those on the grill. We're gonna put the black beans on the grill. Now these are just going on the regular old propane. Uh, we're just trying to get some heat on them, you know, just kind of cook them out there a little bit. They'll be really yummy. And then on the smoker, we're going to get the uh, get the pork chops on there. And uh, we'll get into those later. Did you want to so, season corn before we put it on the grill? No. Okay. So, so then uh, on them pork chops, we're going to make up a honey bourbon glaze. And uh, we're going to get them things all uh, pretty and shiny and tasty. And uh, we'll walk you through uh, getting this whole thing done as we get it done. Have no idea how this is going to turn out. We hadn't done any of this uh, before like we're doing it. So again, you get to go on an adventure. Everybody loves an adventure. So uh, if you are ready, I know I am. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. Another adventure in uh, Grilling with Bubba. guys here we go um we got these pork chops um and uh let me quit saying them so much but what we're going to do with these pork chops we're going to go ahead and season these things up and uh we'll get them on the uh grill on the smoker and uh, we're going to be using some apple wood to uh get some good flavor and smoke on these things and what we're going to rub these things down with first is we're going to use some of this Honey Chipotle Killer Bee. Another one of the Cosmos products that I picked up. So we're gonna try that out. It tastes pretty good on my finger, so we'll see what it tastes like on these chops. And then we're gonna go ahead and make up, while those are on, we're gonna go ahead and make up a little glaze to put on those things later on. And that thing is first gonna be made of this right here. Now this is some local honey that a buddy of mine, he's decided to start uh, or raising bees, farming bees, farming whatever you bees. call that, farming bees, I guess. And uh, they went ahead and collected this thing. It probably ain't, you know, you know, 15 miles from here. And local honey is always the best for you. So if you can use local honey, it's going to have a lot of good health properties for you. Um, but I tell you what, I tasted this stuff, and it has got a flavor like I have never tasted before. And it's those bees are doing something right. I tell you what. I know they got into some uh, Indian blanket uh, wildflowers and stuff, but this stuff's amazing. So we're gonna go ahead and use that. And we're gonna go ahead and use a little Maker's Mark Straight Kentucky Bourbon. And we're gonna put that in our sauce uh, with a couple other things. We're gonna get that mixed up and we'll glaze the ribs, uh, or the, sorry, pork chops with that later. And uh, uh, we'll show y'all how that goes. Right now, we're gonna go ahead and get this uh, uh, Cosmos on here and get these buttoned up and ready to go on that smoking hot smoker. We got some good apple wood smoke going on there, like I said, it's gonna be delicious. We're gonna go ahead and get this uh, Cosmos, right, Dad, gummit, I don't like the way that comes out. Here's what we're gonna do. We wanna, that does have a lot of brown sugar or something in it because it's kind of clumped up. Uh, hadn't really tasted it, but that's fine. We'll go ahead and get that on. Oh, it smells delicious. Mmm. And that's got, I don't know what all that's got in it, but it's some good looking stuff. 
So we'll go ahead and get these coated up, one side and then the other. And uh, man, I don't know what I was expecting out of this stuff, but man, that is, that's got, that's got some good nose to it. It's definitely got a good nose. And you can see these are about a one and a half inch uh, on the bone chops that we're using for these. And I got my got my floor cleaners down here. So anything that I get down there, they're gonna go ahead and clean up for me. See, I don't have to worry about a cleaning crew in this house. Um, well, not for the floors anyway. Um, I could probably be a little better at dusting, making the bed. But hey, who couldn't? So uh, speaking of making a bed, I know whether it's made or not, I'm going to sleep good tonight after we eat these things up. So one thing that people do is they'll go ahead and put their rub on there, and they'll just leave it like that. Well, we want to go ahead and let's let's get some of that stuff all around. We're not going to worry about the bone side because uh, we're probably going to go ahead and cut that off anyway when we start eating. But we'll go ahead and get these edges rolled up and all this extra stuff and make sure that these things are flavored all around. I tell you what, this is, this is some good smelling stuff right here. All right, so we got those. We'll let them set for just a little while, kind of absorb some of those flavors. And uh, then we'll get them on the, on the smoker and we'll show you what them look like. And along with that, like I said, we're gonna go ahead and start our other stuff. We've got two grills started out there tonight. We'll go ahead and get this camera back on. Technical difficulty. <laughs> get this camera back on me. But what we're gonna do is, we're gonna get these things on there. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get these things on the smoker. And uh, those, that should be rocking. Uh, about 250 degrees and we're gonna leave them You know at 45 minutes to an hour. It's not gonna take a whole lot of time uh, Now we've got got two zones set up on this Weber right now We got the hot part and we got the smoke parts, you know You don't want these over the direct heat you want them to get that good smoke and that good flavor and everything going in And then at the end we'll go ahead and put that glaze on them and then we'll put them right over the direct heat and go ahead and get them good char marks on there. Now while we're doing that, we're gonna go ahead and get a, uh, a Dutch oven for them black beans started. And that's gonna go over on the propane grill. And uh, we'll get them, get them uh, heated up on that thing. Um, about half an hour in, we're gonna go ahead and take that corn and we're gonna put that in there. Now we took that corn and we pulled all that silt out as much as we possibly could and then pulled the shucks back over it and soaked it in water. So those are basically gonna steam in their own shucks and that's gonna be sweet and delicious. And then we're gonna take some uh, jalapeno spread and put over those things at the end and we're gonna eat them up. Uh, now the one thing that I didn't mention earlier, kind of a surprise for you, and this is gonna be delicious also that we're gonna have with this. And my, my beautiful bride made this last night. This is a peach pico de gallo. Right, so she took these peaches and she grilled them up and uh, got some good smoking uh, uh, char on them and then chopped that up in some pico de gallo with, you know, your basic ingredients plus a couple of other surprises I don't necessarily need to tell you about. Uh, and uh, these are going to be delicious. We're going to have this thing together. We're going to take that pico de gallo. We're going to put it right on top of these pork chops. We're going to put them black beans on the side. We're going to have us a little corn on the cob and we're going to eat till we're fat, dumb, and happy. And... Uh, I hope y'all enjoy the rest of it, and we will see you outside. All right, guys, so we're back outside in our grilling station. So uh, we got this thing heated up to about 250 degrees where we want it. And uh, you see we got them beautiful chops right there. So we're going to take them. Oh, and I can hear that sizzle. We're going to go ahead and put these things right over here in the indirect smoke and the indirect heat. If I can figure out how, right there. And then we'll get the sear on those later um, after we get that uh, uh, honey barb and glaze put on them. 
But we got those bad boys going right there. And in the meantime, the first thing we want to put on, because it's going to take about the same amount of time as the beans. So I'm going to take, uh, let my bride tell you about those things. Hi. So I got a recipe off of, um, my intention was to make a grilled black bean side to go with our pork chops. And I found a really interesting black bean casserole, not casserole, um, recipe that was not for the grill, but I've still kind of made some modifications to it. Um, it's on dinneranddessert.com and it has black beans, water, chicken broth, brown sugar, some flavorings for like barbecue flavoring and um, replaced the green chilies with jalapenos and it called, called for uh, two or three tablespoons of bacon fat, which I just added bacon because bacon, who can go wrong with bacon? So we are now on the barbecue in our Dutch oven. It says that it's supposed to be cooking on the stove for about 60 minutes um, on a simmer. So right now I think because the grill has been open for a few minutes, we're probably about 325. Um, so we'll see how it goes. I'm curious how this side is gonna come. The corns will be out here in a half an hour. Yeah, I think that's gonna be awesome. So we're gonna take those corn and we're gonna, like I said, we've got those been soaking in water in their shucks and we're gonna put them on the top shelf on that uh, grill right there. And those are gonna kind of steam in that water in the inside their own shucks. And those always, we've done that before and we've done that many times. And that always comes out so sweet and so beautiful and so tasty. And then we're gonna put that little jalapeno spread on there. And I think that's just gonna enhance the flavor anymore. So we'll, we'll meet you back out here in I'd probably say half an hour or so, you know, about time to turn the uh, pork chops and go ahead and get that corn on the grill. And uh, y'all can see uh, how we're progressing. And uh, we'll meet you back here then. All right, guys, so here's what we got for this glaze. So we've got a couple of tablespoons of brown sugar, um, about a tablespoon of fresh ground ginger, uh, a couple of teaspoons, uh, whole grain mustard, uh, a couple of tablespoons of soy sauce. Uh, we got some, uh, uh, a couple of cloves of garlic going in there and about a half a teaspoon of uh, red pepper flakes. So we'll go ahead and get this all in the pan right here, if I can. And then the best parts about this, here we go, we got that honey I told you about a while ago. And, oh goodness, I wish y'all could just taste this for yourself. This is some of the best stuff I've ever tasted. So we're going to take about a third of a cup of that beautiful honey. And we're gonna pour that in there. And then we're gonna take another third of a cup of this bourbon. And we're gonna pour that in there. We're gonna get this to a simmer. See if I can figure out which uh, knob to turn here. We're gonna get this to a simmer and then uh, we're gonna let that reduce by about half. And once that reduces, that's just really gonna intense the rest of those flavors, uh, or intensify the rest of those flavors. So uh, we'll go ahead and get that going in there. Use a little whisk, get it all mixed up good. Uh, once that reduces, then uh, we'll go ahead and use this. Oh, that smells delicious. Good, woo! That bourbon might be a little strong. <laughs> so that'll cook off a little bit. But after we get uh, get this on and heat it up and reduced, then we'll go ahead and use that and just kind of brush it on those pork chops. And then we'll get that over the, char over the, the intense heat area on that grill and we'll get them good char marks on there and uh, let these things finish up. So we will see you back out there after this has got ready.
got all the floor cleaners out here waiting on a bite. They know what the good stuff is. All right, guys, is. as you can see, this is what we came out with. And uh, that looks pretty daggum tasty. And I ain't gonna, uh, I ain't gonna lie to you, I'm ready to dig into this stuff. So anytime y'all can get out there on the grill, whether you got a smoker or or just a uh, you know propane grill, pellet grill, stick burner, whatever you got, get out there, grill you something, make it look delicious, make it taste delicious, and you know, get rid of them flies and enjoy your family. Until next time, you've been grilling with Bubba.